Hi everyone, I've recently remade the classical game Breakout with Python and Pygame. And I want to illustrate how we can draw rectangles, move triangles and eventually also destroy rectangles. So let's get right into the code. So this is the Breakout script, we can execute it and this is what the game looks like. We have this white rectangle in the lower part of the fr frame and then we can move this white rectangle with the A and D key. A moves it left, D moves it right. We have this red ball that bounces off of each uh, rectangle. And the green rectangles are destroyed when the ball comes in contact um, with them. So let's look at the code and how we do this. First, I want to talk about creating these green rectangles. And the way we create rectangles it's it's essentially always the same thing. What we need is a surface object and then a rectangle object. And we always draw the rectangle on the surface. We we draw them on each onto each other with the blit function shown here. Display.blit draws the surface on the rectangle. That that's the way around. I think I said it wrong first time we draw the surface on the rectangle so let's um, see let's first of all import pi game let's uh, initialize it and let's look at the surface dot surface so surface has a width and a height and in our code here we create many of those so we have two for loops. One is for the column, so the columns of the um, rectangles, and then we have the rows. So we create a column time, times rows. That's how many rectangles we create. And we, fill, we create a surface here. Target surf is the surface. And then we get a rectangle we get a rectangle of that same surface. And with this get rect, we, en we ensure that the rectangle has the same size as the surface. So when we create the surface, we give it the size in the argument target size. And then we fill that surface with the color we want. Now, in this loop, we create many of those surfaces and we need to hold on to them. And the way I'm doing it here is very simple. I just append both the surface and the rectangle to uh, a list. That will give us a list of surfaces and corresponding rectangles. And the way to uh, erase them later as soon as they hit the ball is uh, very simple because of that. Because we can simply delete um, both the surface and the rectangle from the list. So what you need to do to um, actually draw those or keep them on the screen, that's the uh, blit function. So this one, this code here, is not part of our main loop. It's just setting up things that we that we need later. But here is the while loop, and that's the execution of our actual program. That's the running of our program. Here we have this display.blit function, which is exactly the function that draws the surface on the rectangle. And we always need to call it in this loop. So the um, most convenient way I found so far is you first you fill the... Um, the the main window the, the the display you just fill it again with the background color and then you draw all the surfaces and rectangles that are still in that still exist back on it for every frame and here in this for loop this is where we actually draw the uh, targets the rectangles that are in the top of the frame this other blit here that's the rectangle that is controlled by the player. That's why it's called player surface and player rectangle. And here with this for loop, we simply loop through, by index, we loop through um, all the objects in the 
target surface and target rectangle and this will draw um, every rectangle that still exists now how do we decide if you want to delete a rectangle well we delete a rectangle when it collides with the ball and the ball again like all the other objects in this code it's a it's an image and a rectangle so here you see we have the ball which is the actual image of the ball that I that I drew and um, that I load somewhere up here and then we draw it on this rectangle So to decide if we want to delete a rectangle, we um, we loop through all the rectangles that we have that we uh, that uh, we potentially want to destroy, and we check we check for each of those for each of those here that's x x is each rectangle, and we check if it collided with the ball rectangle, and if if it did then we delete we delete both the rectangle at the index the index tells us which rectangle we're at we delete that rectangle and that surface and we need to delete both because otherwise things like this uh, for loop down here by index wouldn't work anymore because the um, both target surf list and target rect list they would have different length and we would get errors so we really have to delete both of them so that is um, very simply how we create, how we draw rectangles and how we can delete them. And this is very, very simple. I'm very impressed with uh, how Pygame handles all this because it's pretty straightforward. It's just check if uh, it collided. And of course you can say the ball isn't really, the drawing of the ball is not really a rectangle, right? It, it's a ball. So ball rec the um, the rectangular object of the ball only really approximates the exact shape of the ball. So you could say that the collision detection is not perfect, but for a first pass, this this is works pretty good. I mean, I I showed you already how it how it looks, and 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 I'll show you again. But I think it's a it's a very good first pass. Now. There's one more thing that I want to talk about, and that's moving a rectangle. Because this white rectangle in the lower part of the frame, that's controlled by the player. And we want to be able to move it with the A key to the left and the D key to the right. And for that, we have this uh, construction here. Pygame.key.getPressed. And that's a one way to do it there's another way where you can intercept here in this uh, for loop that intercepts all the events that happen you can look for events um, where a key is pressed and if that key was A then you move left and if the key was D you move right but I found this uh, key dot get pressed um, construction more convenient and I, I might talk at another point about the difference between them. But this key dot get pressed worked very nicely and the rectangle moves very smoothly. So the way this works is pygame.key.getPressed gives you a list. And it's a list that maps uh, by index to all the keys on your keyboard. And if while you when you call this function if a key is pressed the index of that key is one and for all the keys that were not pressed the index is zero not sorry not the index is zero the value in the list is zero we can quickly look how that looks we just get a list like this and all the keys now they're all zero because I didn't press any button on my keyboard why uh, the second this function was called yeah every everything is zero but if the player presses a then one of these values will be one and we can find out which value in this list maps to the a key and this is simply this one pygame dot uh, k stands for key I assume and a is the key A 
and that's the number 97 and this seems this seems random there's there's nothing magical about 97 and this really it's just an integer that not, nothing else comes with it we can we can look at the type i checked this out before this is not some complex object that's simply a, an integer and 97 is just the index in this list that maps to to the uh, key a zero means i did not press the the uh, a key uh, while i called pygame dot key dot get pressed so this gives us a mapping between these um, zero and one truth values and um, our keyboard and with this pygame dot k a and k d we can just check we can just check if this certain key here and of course in python remember boolean uh, boolean context in a boolean context and this if statement introduces a boolean context to this expression one is true and zero is false easy so if this one is zero we don't do this if it's one yes we do this and we do this means we move the rectangle as controlled by the player we move it at the speed we defined before in the x dimension so this first one this is x this is y so this is left right this is up down left right up down and if it's the a key we move it in the negative direction where negative means left and here we move it in the positive direction where positive means right and that's simply how we can move this um, this rectangle and we we move it and we he, this is important we have to remember to then assign it again because now the rectangle changed position and the drawing will only change position if we properly blit the surfaces again on top of each other because simply moving the rectangle will not move the drawing the drawing is only moved by painting again the background background color on top of the rectangle uh, on, on top of the whole frame then everything's black then you move the rectangle a little to the left and then you draw again your uh, surface on that rectangle that's now in a different position and that's it that's that's all you need and I found there's different ways probably of doing this in pi game there's byte arrays there's a lot of complex things but with this um, uh, surface rectangle blit construction um, I think I've come very fa surprisingly far just by the simple way of um, blitting surfaces and rectangles on top of each other so I will one last time show how this looks now that we looked at the code again the white rectangle is moved left and right with the A and D key and whenever the one of the green rectangles comes in contact with the ball it is removed simply by deleting it from a list it's really um, nice in its simplicity all right with that uh, I want to finish this video I hope you uh, enjoyed it and it helped you and I'm I'm having a lot of fun with Pygame I, I have some projects going now mostly for fun some even uh, semi-professional as you might call it and with that I want to uh, say thanks for watching uh, I appreciate it if you made it this far and I hope you're having fun with Pygame as well see you in the next video <laughs>